Okay, here we have the three different kinds of mice that I'm going to discuss uh, in the uh, little uh, tutorial lesson today. Uh, the one one type of, of mouse is the standard uh, mouse. Uh, this one's a little bit newer because it has a wheel device on it. But it's a standard mouse. You look in and you have a, uh, a ball inside it. And that ball actually moves around inside this little cavity and uh, actually tells it where you're moving. Then you have the optical mouse. The optical mouse has a light inside it. And uh, uh, it basically the light tells it where it's going. Then you have the trackball, which is basically like the uh, standard mouse turned upside down. So it's like we turned it upside down and then took this pretty cover off of it. And the way you get the mouse ball out of it is you actually turn it upside down and pull the ball out. Now, the one thing that all three of these have in common is that they track movement. Now, uh, the way that we would normally uh, clean up uh, one of these mice is uh, with a standard mouse we're going to turn it over and we're going to actually if you look you got little arrows here marking how it goes you basically flip like so and drop the mouse ball out once the mouse ball is out you want to take it set it to the side and take a paper towel and clean up the ball roll it around in here and clean it up get rid of any lint especially hair that's really really bad stuff if the ball is real dirty, uh, you might want to put a little rubbing alcohol on the paper towel. Uh, once you've got that clean, then you can usually drop it back in the body. So we'll just drop it back down in here. Uh, one thing you want to note is that inside the body you've got two idler wheels that basically tell the mouse where it's going. And then you've got the small idler, which uh, all it does is it, it just keeps the ball from, uh, keeps it tracking clean and straight. And uh, that way it doesn't wobble around because if you only had two points of contact it would not be would not work correctly okay then we got the optical mouse uh... we'll talk about how to clean it later but it has the same same uh, one of the same common problems that both of these have is that the gliding surfaces here get dirty and we'll talk about how to clean those up and also how to clean up uh, the internal stuff on uh, one of these uh, standard mice if they're not too badly dirtied up then we've got the the trackball. Now the trackball is kind of a cool device uh, and basically to clean it up uh, what we're going to do is we're going to actually take it apart okay, and we're going to flip it upside down and you take the, the ball itself and what we're going to do is we're going to take a paper towel, we're going to fold it in half and then in half again and then we are going to put about a cap full of rubbing alcohol on this. Now this is about the same amount I use for all three types of mice. So I put that cap full of rubbing alcohol on there. It's nice and saturated. There's one little wet spot there. And then what I can do is I can actually clean out down in here. And then I can also clean the surfaces off of the trackball itself. Uh, this cleans off especially oily type dirt. This gets rid of this very quickly and very easily. Uh, so it, it does allow you to get uh, rid of all that kind of stuff. Get everything out of there. Make sure you clean out the cavity. Once you've got the body cavity cleaned out and all the uh, buttons cleaned off real nicely, then what you want to do is you're going to take the ball on the other side of this cloth and clean off the wall. And of course, if I've if I've gotten most of my dirt out of there, and I've got a little, looks like I've got a hair in there. Um, you pick any hairs out, and sometimes you have to wet a finger to get the hair out of there, but that works. Okay, I got the hairs out, and I drop it in here. Now, if I need to clean the inter uh, the the uh, rollers on this, uh, there's a little bit more aggressive method now that I have to use, and I'll show you that in just a moment. Uh, but basically, the mouse should be clean, or the trackball should be clean in this case. The ma standard mice, well, I put them, I use a method of cleaning I call the Brady method. Named it after myself because, well, as far as I know, nobody else has ever ever described this method. You get the mouse clean the same way you got it dirty. You place it on, the, on a, on, on a uh, paper towel, okay, that's wetted with rubbing alcohol, and then you roll it around, okay. So I'm basically cleaning it the same way that I got it dirty. 
And for light dirt and a little bit of oil and stuff inside it, it works real well. It cleans off the pads as well as the ball and the internal mechanism. Uh, if it's really, really bad inside there, you have to get aggressive. Here's what you do. You open it up, get your Q-tip, and wet that Q-tip in rubbing alcohol. So we're going to take the Q-tip, a little bit of rubbing alcohol, get it good and wet. We'll set that off the side, and then bring it up here. And what you want to do is turn this at an angle. That makes the roller actually roll. And uh, what happens is that the big blobs of stuff come off here. Now, if you've got really, really bad buildup, let's say you see little wads of stuff built up on the wheels, uh, in that case, you'll want to scrape it with a screwdriver first, uh, th you know, dumping the stuff out regularly as you go. Uh, but anyway, I've gotten all the grit and grime off of there. It's pretty clean. So I'll put the mouse back together. And uh, that should do it for this one. It's all ready to go. All i got to do is clean the outside of it a little bit. I cleaned it a little earlier, so I'm okay. Uh, this mouse, the optical mouse, same idea. Set this one off the side. And I'll move the optical one in place. Do the same thing. Dirty it, this, or clean it the same way you got it dirty. Okay? And then you can also use that same paper towel, if it isn't too dirty, to clean the exterior and clean your cables. Okay. Um, then finally, if you have a, a, a the trackball gets dirty, you do it the same way that you did. If the wheels are really bad in here, do it the same way that you did the. Uh, uh, let me get this wet again. Okay. You do do it the same way that you did the the, the mouse. You go over here and you and I usually just push up against it and roll. You know, just twist the, the Q-tip as I go, and what happens there is I'm actually cleaning it again the same way I dirtied it, or to a good degree the same way I dirtied it. And I clean all the wheels, including the idler, because that little idler wheel uh, gets, there we go, a big old chunk of stuff came off there, and that gets all the junk out of it. So now we have three clean mice, and uh, so now we are ready to compute again. You should do this about once every uh, month or two. Uh, if you really get it dirty, or if your kids play with the computer a lot, eh, you're going to have to clean it a little more often. Okay, and so that's it uh, from uh, uh, the Krabby Mac. Uh, don't forget, if you need computer help or tips, uh, go to my website at KrabbyMac.com. Thank you, and have a great day. If you need help or information on your computer, come to my website at KrabbyMac.com. Or you can Google me at Welcome to Krabby's Place. Thank you for watching and have a great day.